welcome back everyone to another tutorial on tableau this series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in tableau do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever i upload any new video in today's session we will see how to create apply all filters button in tableau let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today here i have a dashboard that shows sales done in case of different subcategories then this chart shows the profit earned in case of different segments at the top i have created this apply filters button that would allow user to select all the filters at once let me select few filters from category deselect furniture and from state deselect alabama florida georgia and from sub category deselect appliances art binders now let's click on this apply button you will observe that all these filters are applied and the charts have updated based on these filters so instead of applying each filter separately we can apply all the filters at once using this apply button now let's jump to tableau and see how to create this apply button in this dashboard we want to give user functionality to apply all the filters at once currently we will have to go to each of the filter separately and then click on apply button then let me go to sub category filter then we will click on apply so instead of going to each of the filter separately we want to give user functionality to apply all the filters at once for this we will create a new worksheet let me give the name as apply and here we will create a new calculated field click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it apply and here write down apply filters within single quotes click on okay now drag the new calculated field that we have created to row shelf from the marks type select polygon right click to hide this field label now let me increase the width remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders and remove the row divider click on none let's increase the font size now make sure header is selected and from the drop down let's increase the size to 12 and click on bold let me increase the width and let's center align let's also give shading to this worksheet let me select this blue color change the font color to white click anywhere outside now instead of adding filters in the worksheets that we have added to the dashboard we will add all the filters in this apply worksheet so go to these worksheets and remove the filters from here go to this segment worksheet and remove the filters from here as well go back to the dashboard and remove these filters from the dashboard 
now go to the apply worksheet and here we will add all the filters first let's add category filter click on use all click on ok then next we want the state filter drag it to filter shelf click on use all click on ok and the third filter we want to add a subcategory click on use all click on ok now also drag all these three fields to detail let me select all these fields press control on the keyboard and drag these to detail now go back to the dashboard let's add a floating vertical container now add the apply worksheet in this container right click and remove the title now from here we will add all the filters that we want to add on the dashboard next will be state and the next filter will be subcategory these filters are not visible let me edit these filters and select the font as light gray select the font for body as well now drag all these filters in this container and from the drop down let's select multiple values drop down and also make sure you are selecting only relevant values repeat the steps for all the filters that you have added on the dashboard make sure to click on only relevant values multiple values drop down and click on only relevant values now you will observe that when I am deselecting any subcategory the chart is not getting updated so now to allow user to select all these filters at once we will add a filter action let's reset this filter now go to the dashboard go to actions now we will add a filter action click on filter let's name it apply filter the source sheet will be the apply worksheet run action on select clearing the selection will keep filtered values in the target sheets select all the worksheets that you have added to the dashboard and on which you want these filters to work so let me deselect apply now here click on selected fields and add all the filters that we have added to the dashboard subcategory and the last will be state click on ok click on ok again let me adjust the size of this button and change the fit to entire view now let me apply a few filters deselect accessories appliances from the state let me deselect Alabama Florida and from category I will deselect office supplies now you will observe that when we will click on this apply filters button then both the charts have updated so using this apply filters button we can apply all the filters at once and we won't have to individually go to each of the filter now to 
reset the filters we can add another button that will help us to reset all these filters so create a duplicate of this apply worksheet now we will create another calculated field and let's name it reset and here within single quotes write down reset filters click on ok now drag this to the row shelf instead of apply and let me increase the font size to 12 and click on bold and remove all these filters from here and also from the detail let's name it reset go to the dashboard and here we will add the reset button right click and hide title change the fit to entire view let me increase the width and let us center align the text now we will add another filter action go to dashboard go to actions and here click on filter let's name it reset filter the source sheet will be the reset worksheet run action on select clearing the selection will show all values and the target sheets would be all those sheets that we want to reset just deselect reset because we want to reset both the charts and even the apply button now here click on selected fields and we will add all the filters that we have added to the dashboard category subcategory and state click on ok click on ok again now you will observe that when we will click on this reset filters button then all the filters and even the chart would reset so here you will observe that all the charts have reset to the default and also all the filters are reset now you will observe that the buttons are getting highlighted here we are getting some highlight on the reset filters button I have already created a detailed video on how to disable highlighting in Tableau. You will find the link of that video in the top right corner and I have also added the link of that video in the description below. To remove this highlighting we will have to add two more calculated fields. So click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it true and here we will write down true click on ok create another calculated field let's name it false and here write down false click on ok now drag both these calculated field to detail and go back to the dashboard now we will have to add another filter action to remove this highlighting go to dashboard go to actions here click on filter action let's name it remove reset highlight the source sheet would be the reset worksheet run action on select clearing the selection will show all values and the target sheet would be the reset worksheet instead of the dashboard and here click on selected fields click on the drop down 
and here source field will be true calculated field that we have created and the target field will be the false calculated field that we have created click on ok click on ok again now let me apply filters again click on apply filters button now the filters have applied on both the charts now you will observe that when i will click on this reset filters button the highlight that we are seeing over the apply filters button won't be visible on this button so by adding one additional filter action you can remove the highlighting from these buttons so in this way we can create apply filters button that will allow user to apply all the filters at once this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial